TriCaster Extreme models come with Animation Store transitions. Now these are full color, full motion overlay transitions with audio. Let's go ahead and take a look at just a few of them. Now there are a couple of different kinds of transitions possible. You have just an overlay transition where you have a cut of the video behind the overlay, like you see with the doors right here. But you can also do more complex transitions like the rings, where both of the sources are on the screen at the same time. And that transition is controlled with an additional matte sequence to go along with the overlay sequence. We'll take a look at creating both of those types of effects here in a moment. Now there are many effects that come with the TriCaster and many of them have different sounds for the forward direction and the reverse direction. Now there are a couple of different ways to be able to change the direction of the effect during your live production. One of these is directly from the interface. You can select the effect that you want to modify and click on the gear and you can choose forward or reverse direction or you can also set it up to ping pong and ping pong is going to change the direction of the effect each time it's run. Now another way to change from forward to reverse direction is from the control surface. There is a selector knob and rotating that knob will allow you to choose the effect that you want to work with but you can also use that knob as a button and pushing down on that knob will turn the reverse mode on and off and you can see it right on the interface. You can see the word reverse come up next to the gear when you're pressing the selector knob here on the control surface. Now the TriCaster comes with a large library of these effects, pre-made and ready to use out of the box. But TriCaster Extreme takes it to the next level, allowing you to create your own custom full color overlay transitions with the Animation Store Creator. Now the Animation Store Creator is available out on the home page as an add-on. So we're going to exit out of live production and we're going to go out to the home page and click on the add-on menu selection here on our menu ring. And then you can select the Animation Store Creator and this is where full color transitional effects are built. Once inside the Animation Store Creator, you can choose an image sequence to load up. Now, this can be any image sequence that has alpha channel in it. This could be generated from any 3D package or After Effects. And this one, of course, was created in Lightwave. We're just going to go ahead and load up our overlay sequence here. We have the doors that will come crashing down. Now once your sequence is loaded, you can scrub through it by left clicking and dragging on the little scrub bar here along the bottom. And you can choose when the transition is going to happen. You'll see it's happening right there. Well, that's no good. We want it to happen out here once the doors have slammed. So we can scrub out to where the doors are slammed shut and we can set the transition frame by clicking on our set button right here. And now you can see that the first half of this timeline is turned red and that's our A output on the screen. And then the second half is now blue. That's our B output. So you can see now that the transition is happening behind the doors overlay, which is exactly what you're looking for. Now for this one effect, you could just create one sound effect to run in the forward direction. And that would be loaded up right here. And you would choose the sound effect that you want to bring in for the door slamming down. And you're ready to export that effect out. To export the effect out, you simply come up to your file pull down here and you've got export to live. And then this effect will show up in your browser when you browse the transitions that are available for the session once you get back into live. Now, the other option that you have is adding that matte sequence to further customize this effect. And the rings example really shows how this works. So we're going to load up our overlay of the rings to start out with. Here, when we use the scrub bar, we can see the rings overlay, but of course we still have that cut happening right where we set it up for the last transition. Well, now you can load up a matte sequence right down here. And this matte sequence can be generated by the same 3D application that you use to generate the overlay. Or again, this could be made in After Effects and you can create matte sequences in After Effects as well. And now the matte sequence will control the transition behind the overlay and it gives you a really great effect where both of the sources are on the screen at the same time and the rings are now giving us that beautiful transition from A to B. Now again, 
you can create not only a sound effect for the forward motion, but you also have the ability to add another sound effect if that effect is run in the reverse motion. Now down here at the bottom, you have the ability to choose what quality level you want to render the transitional effect out at. So you can render at different quality levels, and these could be visually detectable, but there's a reason you might want to have a lower or a higher quality level. Again, higher quality level looks better, but it's going to take up more memory in your switcher, and there is a finite amount of memory available in the switcher, and you could run out if you want to have several of these types of effects all loaded up at the same time in different places in the TriCaster. You can do that, but you've got to have the switcher memory available to do that. Now, your other option is to lower the quality level a little bit, but this is going to make a smaller file, allowing you to load more effects into the switcher at one time. Let me show you what we're talking about. Now, once you've exported your effects and you're back into the live production environment, right up here you can see the amount of switcher memory that's being used by whatever's currently loaded into the switcher. And right down here we have a variety of these effects loaded in. Let's just show you, I'm going to pick an effect that's not a full color effect. We'll click on the gear, we'll go to browse and say we want to load one up. And I'm going to load up an effect here and you can watch the switcher memory when I load this effect. You can see that it took up a little bit more switcher memory there. So you can see you have a finite amount of switcher memory to use and by creating the highest quality effects that we can, they're going to be the largest file. You'll be allowed to load the fewest number of them in there. Now again, if you're in a situation where you want to have a lot of full color effects loaded, and you can use them in more places than just transitioning from preview to program. You can use them to bring on overlays, uh, you can use them for the DSK, so there are several different places we can have these loaded. And if you run into the situation where you're running out of switcher memory, you do have the ability to export those transitions at lower quality levels as smaller files, and this will allow you to load more of them into the switcher at one time.